What's up, Dex3 users? Uh, this is Ryan Share here with a quick tip uh, for making sure that Dex3 will run at optimal performance uh, while video mixing. Uh, video mixing obviously is pretty heavy on uh, your GPU resources, running everything through your, your video card. Um, specifically, the, the latest 3.1 update better utilizes the newer version of, of DirectX. Um, so here's the deal. Most computers today, most of the newer higher end laptops, they come with two video cards. For instance, my machine comes uh, with an Intel HD 4600 uh, graphics card, uh, which is a shared memory graphics card. All that means is it's sharing uh, RAM and resources with all other operations throughout the OS uh, and any running software. Um, so with Dex3, and one of our major recommendations here for optimal video mixing performance is having a graphics card with dedicated graphics memory, not shared. Now I will say that some of those 40, you know, the, let's say the 4400 series Intel shared cards and higher are pretty good. You know, some people are mixing videos with those pretty efi uh, efficiently. So if you can though, the, the recommendation is to get a graphics card with dedicated video memory. Now, back to what I was saying here is that a lot of these newer computers come with two graphics cards. Mine has the Intel HD 4600 and a nice NVIDIA uh, 750M, I believe is the model, uh, which is a one giga, uh, gigabyte uh, graphics card. So it's got one gigabyte of dedicated graphics memory. Now, there are switchers built in that usually come with whatever software is preloaded on your laptop that's supposed to select the proper video card to run the application you're running. Uh, it's supposed to have some intelligence there to select which video card is going to be best used to run that particular software. I've noticed that there are times when it's picking the Intel card when I'm vid uh, video mixing with DeX. What you can do is uh, select which video card will always be used with a particular application throughout Windows. Now this is demonstration as a, on Windows 8.1, uh, but this is how easy it is to do it. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your, your DEX3 icon on your desktop and you're going to highlight it and right click on it. From your drop down menu, uh, about the third option down or at least on mine, you're going to see run with graphics processor. And under this sub menu here, I have I can just select the video card I want to run with, which is the high performance NVIDIA processor in my case. Now, if you select this right here, what it'll do is it's going to open up the software using that video card. What I would suggest is make sure it always utilizes the high end video card uh, by going down to change default graphics processor right here. So you're going to select that. You're going to wait for your control panel to open. And I would assume most people are using the NVIDIA cards. They are better, I would say, than the ATIs. So you'll probably be presented with a control panel that looks very similar to this. And under here, under program settings, what you're going to do is you'll look for DEX3 under here. Most likely it's not going to show, which means that it's not using one card or the other. It's on the automatic switcher. It's using the intelligence setting. Uh, where you're going to allow the computer to pick which video card's best. So we're going to change that by clicking Add. From the Add menu, you should see DEX in here, PCDJ Mixing Software. If not, you can hit the Browse button and go to the Program folder for it and, and find it, and it'll add to the list. And once it's in your Select Program list here, you're going to select it and you're going to click Add Selected Program. And as you'll see right here where it says Select, it'll show you know, DEX as being the selected program to customized, customize. And down here you're going to see Select the Preferred Graphics Processor for this program. By default, it's going to use the global setting, which is Auto Select Integrated. It's basically going to select whatever it thinks, but it looks like usually it's the integrated. So we want to change that. We're going to click the drop down menu. And we're going to choose High Performance NVIDIA Processor. You're going to hit Apply. And that's it. For now on, 
when you launch Dex3, it's going to be utilizing your high-performance NVIDIA GPU, the graphics processor, instead of the integrated one. So that, you know, for those that are video mixing, I would say that's paramount. It'll ensure that you're going to use the best possible video card for all your video mixing and your video out. Uh, maybe not so important if you're just mixing audio or even karaoke in that regard. Uh, but I would highly suggest it for video. So that's today's Dex 3 quick tip. Uh, keep checking back. If you got questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Thanks.